Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to take a look at the Olight S1 Mini Baton. It's a 600 lumen flashlight. Really good for every day because of its small size and good output. Uh, let's start with the packaging and what comes in the box. So let's start by taking a look at the outside. If you guys want to pause it, you can take a look at those specs. All right, let's get in this. So you've got more specs, more information about the light. Some, some advertisement for some of their other lights. M2R Warrior, which I also did a review on. So right here you've got a little Olight lanyard or something like that. So maybe so you can keep it around your wrist if you want to, I'm not sure. Inside here, this is just the charger. Yeah, it doesn't come with the magnetic kind on the back, and I'll show you why in just a second. And I'll be honest, I don't remember how everything came in the package, so I just kind of shoved it all back in the box and left the flashlight out. Um, but let's take a look at the light. So this is the Olight S1 Mini Baton. Um, once again, I think it's a great flashlight just because it's so small and compact. But, you know, 600 lumens, that's a lot. That's a lot for a small light. I mean, this thing looks tiny, and I have small hands, so, you know, just anybody with large hands, medium hands, this thing's going to be even tinier. And so I really like it because there's no excuse to not carry it. Um, you know, you can carry it every day. You're not even going to notice you have it in your pocket, unlike some other lights that are too big and bulky. So let's just start off with the clip. It's just an S-style clip, uh, which is nice because, well, if you're not familiar with it, it lets you clip it both ways. So if you want to carry it bezel down, clip it that way. If you want to carry a bezel up, just clip it right there. Um, so that's really convenient. If you don't want to carry with a clip at all, you just want to throw it in a pocket or a bag. And for whatever reason you want to take off the clip, um, it, it is removable. It's on there pretty snug, but if you give it a good tug, um, it'll, it'll come off of there. Um, and then what's really cool about this style clip too, since you can point in any direction, is you can make a, let's just pretend this was the bill of your hat. Um, it makes a very convenient headlamp. So say you just need to go hands free for whatever, need to work on your car, or um, just something. There's a lot of things where you need two hands. And so you could just clip it on the bill of your hat. And this thing is so little and lightweight that it won't even uh, weigh, weigh down your hat or anything or make it get in your face, fall down. Um, it's just a perfect little light um, for that. Now moving on to the body of the flashlight. Um, it's I believe it's 6061 T6 aluminum which is um, very good like lightweight high grade tough aluminum and um, I believe it's got like some sort of hard anodized finish to it. Um, this black finish which is uh, really nice because what that does is it just helps keep um, this the metal from like rusting or corroding in any way because this is waterproof too it's completely waterproof in fact this will um, work perfectly fine underwater now I don't know to how many feet so don't go like deep diving or anything with it but um, if you drop it in a puddle or in, you know whatever the sink you don't have to worry about it getting messed up because it is waterproof and it is fully functional underwater as well um, you've got the classic blue Olight ring that they do. Um, it's just kind of like their signature. And then this has like a new um, texturing design that they did on this. Um, I personally like it a lot. I think it looks good. Um, gives you a good grip. You know, this thing's little, so you want to make sure it's not too slick. Um, but it gives you a good grip. You can grab onto it well. All right, so next we'll talk about um, the function and how it works. It's got the one thumb button here. It's the only button on the light. Um, Olight does a really good job of uh, making it very simple. Um, it's not all complex with all kinds of buttons and you know, all kinds of different settings. 
Um, normally, even if they do have more than one setting on a flashlight, it's very easy to access. So, anyways, with that being said, all you do is click this once to turn it on. Now, it's kind of not going to look all that bright because I've got all of these um, lights right here, but and the camera does a really good job of equaling the lighting out. But anyways, so when you turn it on once, it just goes to whatever setting you left it at last. And then if you hold this, it'll cycle through the different brightness settings. And when you're on the brightest one, if you double click, it'll go to turbo, which is like the max. Which probably doesn't look much brighter, but it's a good, you know, it's solid 600 lumen output there. And if um, when you're outside or even... When I don't have all these lights on, um, it, you can really tell how bright this is for such a small flashlight. Anyways, if you wanted to go to moonlight mode um, from the off position, if you hold it, let me see if I can even get it to show up. But if you hold it from the off position, that's moonlight. So it looks like it's hardly anything um, because I don't remember how many lumens this is, but it's just like one lumen or a couple lumens. Um, but what the moonlight is good for is say you're, you know, waking up at night and you don't want to shine a bright light in everybody's face or wake anybody um, up and you just need to walk down the hall. You could just turn on the moonlight mode and it's enough to be able to see and get your way around without uh, making everything too bright or giving away your position or anything like that. Um, or like I said, just waking people up. That's basically it for the function of the light. Uh, it's very simple and easy to use. Um, there, it may have some other settings. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't completely read through it, but that's the basic function, and that's you know what I the only settings I use there is just the different brightness levels and the moonlight. Um, if you're wondering how to charge this thing, you just unscrew the cap. Which, by the way, the threads are really smooth. Feels nice. Anyways, you've got one rechargeable CR123. So these are really common. You can buy these in bulk. Um, but it's nice that it comes with a rechargeable one. If you wanted more like this, you can get them from Olight. Um, but as you can see here, it just recharges like that. So it's pretty co it's pretty cool how uh, you can just take your basic, I don't know what this is, mini USB or something, whatever you charge lots of cell phones with, um, and it comes with a charger. But you just plug that right in. And then it has a little light that will turn red on the actual battery itself when it's charging. And then uh, it turns green when it's fully charged. So anyways, that's really convenient. You know, if you just get a couple more of those. And then say you're going backpacking or you're going camping. You don't even have to bring a charger because you can just charge them all up at home. Bring them with you. Um, go through, you know, all your batteries if you even need that many because one lasts quite a while but if you're camping for a week just go through a couple of your batteries and when you get home you just recharge all of them and you're good to go you don't have to spend any more money uh, once you get a couple of those rechargeable batteries you're all set we're gonna head outside so I can actually show you how the light performs I can tell you all about it um, but I want you to actually be able to see the beam pattern the output the spill and and you know judge for yourself um, but I think it's a really good light just for how small it is and just for the sake of having something else to compare it to, um, we're going to take the Olight M2R Warrior as well, which is more like a tactical everyday light. It's got the switch on the back, um, all kinds of different settings. This thing's amazing. I really, really like it. I probably carry this one more often, actually. And this is the one I carry when I just want something small or if my wife wants to carry a flashlight. Um, but this is... This is a good light, but I prefer having this guy except for when I'm wearing, I guess, tighter jeans or something or tighter slacks. But anyways, let's head outside and I'll show you how both of them perform. And you'll see that even though it doesn't compare to the big one, for the size and the fact that you're not carrying around a heavy light, this thing's really good. We're starting off small with the S1 Mini Baton. Now I'm out here on this hill looking upwards towards the top of this ridge. And so it's kind of hard to see the the flood and the beam pattern but you can kind of tell the hot spot is pretty big all the way up top there at that ridge it doesn't look very far but that's actually 45 yards so you can tell that this tiny light 
lights up the top of that ridge pretty good. I mean, I'm on full power here, but still 45 yards with this tiny light, and you can see pretty clearly up at the top of that ridge. This is the M2R Warrior. I mean, it doesn't even, it's not even close. So this thing is on full power, and obviously it's much brighter. I mean, I'm pointing it all the way up to the ridge. Once again, that's 45 yards. It's super bright. All kinds of bushes in the way, but, you know, if I go closer, you can tell how bright it is. And the camera actually doesn't make it look as bright as it really is. But once again, this thing is just super powerful. Good hot spot, tons of flood. You see, I can go all the way to the side before you start to not be able to see anything. So you got the hot spot in the middle and all the flood on the sides. So it's really good. Obviously this light is much bigger, but it's really not that much bigger for how much power you're getting out of it. I mean, it's ten, you know, it's like four or five times bigger than the little one, but it's so much more powerful. And then if you're closer, this is only like 10 yards away and it looks ridiculously bright. Once again, here's the little S1 mini baton. I mean, it still reaches out to the ridge there, which is 45 yards, but Obviously, it's not as bright as the big one, but it still looks pretty good considering how small this light is. And once again, this is it up close. That's only about 10 yards away. You can tell how bright it is. Um, and I'm talking about the ground right there is 10 yards. That bush is about 15. That bush or that rock is about, or it's about 15 also. Alright guys, so that was the comparison. Um, I hope you liked it. You know, I, you can obviously tell that the M2R Warrior is way brighter, but um, for you have to just keep in mind that the S1 Baton, or S1 Mini Baton is so small that it's, you know, even though it doesn't compare to the Warrior, the M2R Warrior, it's super, super good light just because of the size, you know. I mean, for one, it costs less, it's way smaller, it's lighter, doesn't take up you know any space in your pocket really um, so you just have to keep that in mind that for that size it has a lot of output and a lot of capabilities hope you guys enjoyed that comparison outside and um, if you're interested in the M2R Warrior I do have a review on that as well check it out I'll put it in the description I'll put the link in the description another thing I forgot to mention that's really cool about this light is that the tail cap end is magnetic and it's pretty strong too so it's another cool way for you to be able to go hands-free if you need to work on your car or work on something. And if you just have any metal surface around, this will really stick and it's strong. It's not going to fall off. So uh, you can put this on at different angles um, and, and it'll do a good job of staying there for you. And that way you can work on whatever you need to work on and you can just angle the light however you need it. And so it's just another really cool feature that Olight um, puts in this flashlight. So you get so many cool little features in a tiny flashlight. Um, and it's not a bad price either. For something high quality like this that's built to last, I think it's a good price. And in case you guys are wondering how much it costs, um, I believe well, I got it for about 50 bucks. Um, I think they may have been doing a little sale. I don't remember. Um, but... You know, typically it's it's not much more than that, I don't think, even at full MSRP. And Olight's always doing sales and things like that at their website where you can get this light for less than that. Um, um, you know, sometimes as low as 35 40 bucks. 40 um, if you just check their site at the right time when they're doing a flash sale or, so, or something like that. But anyways, pick it up. Man, it's a really good light. Haven't had any issues with it. I've had it for a few months. It's only been out for a few months, but I've had it for a few months. Uh, maybe it's been out like six months or something. I'm not sure, but it's a really cool light. Great for EDC every day. You're, you know, you, there's no excuse to not carry it just because it's so small and lightweight. You're not even going to feel it. Definitely worth the money. I do recommend it. Um, I haven't had any issues with this one, so hopefully if you get it, um, you have a good experience as well. But thank you very much for watching. 
I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.